Hello everyone. It was a roller coaster ride, right? From May to July to September and finally you are done with NEET and it's quite an easy paper. Here I am to present you the NEET 2020 solution. I am Zoology faculty Maithili Aburi from Sri Chaitanya Institutes and here we go with the Zoology solutions. I see a lot of smiling faces today with the easy paper. Bilaterally symmetrical and acelomate animals are exemplified by the two keywords you should concentrate bilateral symmetry and acelomate animals. Bilateral symmetry is that when you cut an organism into two equal halves by a single plane of division and a coelomate is one without a coelom and of course you have the answer which is platyhelminthus. Next slide what do we have lot of match the following today by the way guys so gregarious polyphagus pest is locusta which is four and we only have one most of the match the following are this way but still I'm going to go ahead and present you the next one adult with radial symmetry and larva with bilateral symmetry is one which belongs to echinodermata which is asterias Book lungs, of course, are in scorpion, arachnid, bioluminous, bioluminescence, which is able to emit light, a bios, which is in tenoplana. And there we go, we have the answer, option one. And the next slide, the QRS complex in a standard ECG represents straight from NCRT text we have by counting the number of QRS complexes you can actually have a count of number of heartbeats it's basically the depolarization of ventricles and then another match the following which is the floating ribs floating ribs guys recall it is the 11th and 12th pair of ribs which start all the way from the vertebral column and are freely floating which do not attach to that of the sternum which is the floating ribs which are do not connect with the sternum a4 again we have only one option with that which is three so go ahead with going ahead acromion which is present on that of the clavicle scapula you know the triangular bone which is between the second and the seventh ribs and the glenoid cavity you know that's the concavity which is accommodating the humerus bone and here we go the third option is the right one and next the pituitary gland is something that is associated with the diabetes insipidus you know the pituitary gland is what is responsible for one of these adh antidiuretic hormones and that is what is uh, you know the reason why one suffers from diabetes insipidus and a will be three again we have two here so let's go with another one which is thyroid gland thyroid is something that's responsible for the graves disease of course which is b1 and again bingo we have the option there which is two adrenal gland associated with addison's disease pancreas you know the insulin which is associated with diabetes mellitus and so we have the option two right if the head of cockroach is removed it may live for a few days because i don't even have to explain this for you straight an ncrt line again which is the head hole uh, holds a small proportion of the nervous system while the rest of this one situated along the ventral parts of its body that is why it only dies of starvation because it loses its mouth parts so here we go option two is the answer next question we have the select the correct events that occur during inspiration breathing in right so when you breathe in what are the things that are happening the contraction of diaphragm when the diaphragm contracts it's it is something that is becoming flattened and then the contraction of external intercostal muscles which raise right the bucket handle movement as well as that of the hand pump movement pulmonary volume decreases no the pulmonary volume has to increase remember you're breathing in the air intrapulmonary 
pressure increases. Now that is supposed to slightly decrease compared to that of the atmospheric pressure. So obviously it is contraction of diaphragm and the contraction of external intercostal muscles that happens during inspiration. Right. So here we go A and B. Fourth option is your right option. And the next question. By which method was new breed Hissardale? Quite an easy question children. The Hissardale is something that is of course uh, crossed by you have the answer also there Bicanary use in the Merino Rams. I keep saying my children Mr. Bean. Easy way to remember Merino Rams and uh, the Bicanary use. Of course crossing them it is a cross breed again very very easy question to answer hope you all agree with me there so option two is the right answer again a match the following here causative agents remember this is some uh, question that's given most of the time in the board exams also so typhoid is something that is caused by salmonella typhi pneumonia hemophilus influenzae Filariasis, Vacararia, Bancrofti and Malaria is caused by the Plasmodium. So the Typhoid which is Salmonella 3, again there you have just with one single match you get the right option which is option 1. So the next question. From his experiments, Essel Miller produced amino acids. I was mentioning the board exams. Here we go. We have another board level question. Essel Miller's experiment, guys, from the evolution chapter. So it's methane, hydrogen, ammonia, and water vapor at 800 degrees centigrade. He was trying to simulate the primitive atmosphere, remember? So fourth option is your right answer. Select the option including all sexually transmitted diseases. Let's rule this out with option one by one. So first one, gonorrhea, malaria, genital herpes. Malaria is something that is through a mosquito bite. So rule that out, AIDS, malaria, filaria. Again, we have a malaria, even filariasis is there. Cancer, AIDS and syphilis. Cancer again is something that's not occurring in that way. Gonorrhea, syphilis, genital herpes. Fourth option is our right option. There we go. The green tick appears, right? Next, embryological support for evolution was disapproved by. So here, this question would have been even more trickier if at all we had Ernest Huckel in it. Lucky you guys, you have the options Alfred Wallace, Charles Darwin, Oparin and Carl Ernest von Bayer. So the fourth option is your right option. Which of the following hormone levels will cause release of ovum from the graphene follicle? A slightly tricky question that's given in the paper because this is something where usually you would have learnt from the NCRT text as LH surge increase in the concentration of LH is something that's leading to ovulation but here we do not have that option instead we go by higher concentration of estrogen remember as the follicle is growing it is also secreting the estrogen right so that's your right option and there we go with the next question. Goblet cells of alimentary canal are modified from. So this is something you would have learned from structural organization as columnar epithelium which is present in the, the stomach, right? And the intestine. So we have the columnar epithelial cells as the right option. Snow blindness in Antarctic region is due to again and again another very easy straight NCRT line question. It's basically inflammation of cornea due to high dose of UVB radiation, right? And then the 37th question. Montreal Protocol was signed in 1987 for the control of emission of ozone depleting substances. It's not Kyoto Protocol that's given in order for you to mark the greenhouse gases. So it's Montreal Protocol emission of ozone depleting substances from your environmental issues chapter. 
Let's go over the next question. The infectious stage of plasmodium that enters into the human body is again an easy question. When a mosquito comes and bites you, there's lots of these porozoids that enters into your body first, which reaches the liver in an about half an hour, and sporozoids is your right option. If you look at it, female gametocytes, male gametocytes form much later after they enter into the human body. Trophozoite is the active feeding stage, of course. The meiotic division of the secondary oocyte is completed. Again, from human reproduction, usually the questions are complicated again, but you get a very, very straight question. The second uh, uh, the oocyte undergoes or completes the division finally after the entry of the sperm. So, at the time of fusion of sperm with an ovum, is your answer. There goes the green tick again, right? Which of the following statements are true for the phylum chordata? In Eurochordata, notochord extends from head to tail and it is present throughout their life. Now, there's a problem in the statement. Eurochordates, if you recall, are exhibiting retrogressive metamorphosis where it is present only in the larval tail. It's not present throughout their life. So, that is a wrong one. Uh, in vertebrata, notochord is present during the embryonic period. Later, it is replaced by the vertebral column. Central nervous system is dorsal and hollow, right? It's a fluid filled one. Chordata is divided into three subphyla, hemichordata, tunicata and cephalochordata. This is the problem area there. So we go with B and C, which is your third option. Presence of which of the following conditions in urine are indicative of diabetes mellitus? Do I have to even explain this? Guys, this is a question that you would have marked it 100% right. I am confident about it. Ketonuria, presence of ketone bodies in the urine. Glycosuria, presence of glucose in that of urine. So, second option is your right option. Secondary metabolites such as nicotine, strychnine and caffeine are produced by plants for their. Obviously, they are producing such uh, secondary metabolites in their defense. So, defense action is our right option. Here we go with the next question. Which of the following would help in prevention of diuresis? I want you to concentrate on this particular word. Diuresis is excess water loss through urine. So let's look at the options now. Reabsorption of sodium and water from renal tubules due to aldosterone. Yeah, if that happens, obviously you're not losing much of a water through the urine. On the other hand, atrial natriuretic factor, that's a vasodilator, not a constrictor. Decrease in secretion of renin by JG cells. No, it is, has to be increased, you know, when in, uh, there is that of loss of lot of water through that of the urine. More water reabsorption due to under secretion of ADH. That's not it. So, option one is our right answer. Select the correct match, phenylketonuria autosomal dominant, that's where we are going to correct it. It is something which is autosomal recessive. Sickle cell anemia, autosomal recessive trait, chromosome 11, bingo, that's right. Thalassemia is definitely not X-linked, it's autosomal. Hemophilia, not a Y-linked one, but an X-linked one. So there we go, the second option is our right option. Which of the following is not an attribute of population? Recall natality, mortality, immigration, emigration. So obviously not species interaction. And then in relation to gross primary productivity and net primary productivity of an ecosystem, which one of the following statements is correct? Gross primary productivity is always more than net primary productivity makes our job much easier in the first option itself we have the answer recall net primary productivity is 
cross primary productivity minus the respiratory losses right and there we go the first option cuboidal epithelium with brush border of microvilli where do we find brush border guys wherever a lot of absorption is required obviously there is pct recall from your excretion chapter that most of the reabsorption takes place about 70 to 80 percent of the electrolytes are also being reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule of nephron select the correct statement glucagon is associated with hypoglycemia recall, recall it's basically hyperglycemia insulin acts on pancreatic cells and adipocytes cleverly given it acts on the hepatic cells insulin is associated with hyperglycemia no it actually reduces the glucose level so it's hypoglycemic hormone glucocorticoids stimulate gluconeogenesis that's right they make glucose from the non-carbohydrate sources so there we go fourth option is your right option according to robert may apologize for the spell check there it has to be robert robert may the global species diversity is about Yes, the global estimate has gone 20 to 50 million, but he said it's about 7 million, right? And then match the trophic levels with their correct species. Example, fourth trophic level obviously is vulture A2 and we have only one option there. And I guess from high school level studies also, you should be able to answer such a food chain question, right? So fourth option is your right option again match the following so from animal kingdom touching various areas quite an expected question as far as neat is concerned 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits is something that's present in that of the cyclostomes the scaleless jawless ones right heterocircle heterocircle understand that the fins are something which are you know not of equal sized ones which is obviously present in the sharks which belongs to chondrichthyes the cartilaginous ones and air bladder of course is maintaining the buoyancy the ability to float which is an ostichthyes the bony fishes and the poisonous sting very very easy which would be trigon if at all torpedo was there you would have gotten a wee bit confused but there's only trigon there so going with 6 to 15 which is in that of cyclostomes a2 again we have only one option there due to covid situation or whatsoever the paper setters are really really trying to make our life easier right so the fourth option is our right option and there we go identify the correct statement with reference to human digestive system serosa is the innermost layer of alimentary canal recall it's outermost if at all you are overlooked that word don't worry much but there it is you tend to make such mistakes during the examination ileum is highly coiled part yes of course vermiform appendix arises from duodenum no from that of the cecum ileum opens into small intestine if you're a little confused again with that statement let me tell you ileum is something that is opening into the large intestine that's why it's very very important guys to reach in every word both in the question and the option as far as neat is concerned so there we go the second option is our right option in which of the following techniques the embryos are transferred to assist those females who cannot conceive concentrate embryo is something that we are transferring into that of the female by what techniques zift zygote intra fallopian transfer we transfer the zygote to fallopian trans uh, fallopian tubes if at all it is less than eight blastomeres what if it is more than eight blastomeres you transfer it to the uterus which is intrauterine transfer so fourth option is our right option and there we go with the next question organ of cotta you know this is for that of hearing which is located on the bacillar membrane a4 we only have again one option which is two but let me go ahead with the rest 
cochlea coiled part of the labyrinth eustachian tube which is connecting middle ear and pharynx of course this is something that is equalizing the pressure recall guys if at all you are on a high altitude taking a flight journey you feel there's something that's opening up it's otherwise closed that's when it opens up to equalize the pressure on either sides of tympanum stapes is something that's attached to the oval window and there we go the second option is our right option and then match the following again here is a little a uh, trick involved if at all you have overlooked histaminases you might have gone wrong with this eosinophils are some things which are releasing histaminases with destructive enzymes basophils release histamine so that would be 3 and 4 of course we have only one option there neutrophils are something which are exhibiting phagocytosis which is easy lymphocytes for immune response so there we go the green tick goes with the fourth option right identify the wrong statement with reference to immunity when ready made antibodies are directly given it is called passive immunity of course that's a right statement you give ready made antibodies you cut short the whole process of body again making the antibodies by itself it's a passive immunity active immunity is quick just so that if you have overlooked that word very quickly you might have gone wrong with this active immunity is not quick it is something that has to stimulate your immune responses then make antibodies it's not a quick process definitely so second one is right fetus receives some antibodies from mother it's an example for passive immunity that's very right a iga antibodies when exposed to antigen whether living or dead attenuated weakened antibodies are produced in the host body it's called active immunity that's right so we are going with the option 2 right next question the enzyme enterokinase helps in conversion of quite an easy question enterokinase is present in your succus enterocus the brush border enzyme which is converting trypsinogen to trypsin only then it will be able to activate others procarbi carboxypeptidase and all so basically trypsinogen to trypsin is our right answer which of the following statements is not correct The proinsulin has an extra peptide called C. Yes, of course, it has. It has an A chain, B chain, as well as that of the C. The functional insulin has A and B chains linked together by. I know you're saying the answer by the disulfide bridges, not the hydrogen bonds. There we have the wrong statement. Genetically engineered in insulin, of course, is in E. coli. In man, insulin is synthesized. first as pro insulin and then processed into insulin remember the challenge that was faced and then later eli lilly company has come up with a solution right anyway here our option is the second one right flippers of penguins and dolphins as soon as you see an example such first of all try and recall whether it is analogous or homologous these are definitely analogous organs with a similar function but of a different origin and analogous organ support convergent evolution right which of the following refer to correct example of organisms which have evolved due to changes in environment brought about by anthropogenic action only ambiguous question as far as zoology is concerned right so because darwin's finches of galapagos island straight away you can rule that out it's not due to anthropogenic action it's not due to human interference herbicide resistant weeds yes of course we have the statement drug resistant eukaryotes that is also quite right man created breeds of domesticated animals oh no this is not so great option to be given but we are left with only b c and d and hence we take that option which is the option 2 right identify the wrong statement with reference to transport of oxygen 
partial pressure of carbon dioxide can interfere with oxygen binding with hemoglobin. Of course, if there is higher partial pressure of carbon dioxide, the association is affected. Higher hydrogen concentration, ion concentration in alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Remember, higher hydrogen concentration means the lower pH and that definitely is not favoring the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So, there we go. The second option is our right option. Which of the following regions of the globe exhibit highest species diversity? None other than our Amazon rainforest. Of course, there's a lot of forest fires going on around globally, past in Australia, right now in America. So, hope God save the world. There we go. This is the third option, Amazon forest. And then another match, the following which is placenta, which is something that is secreting HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. Zona pellucida is a layer of the ovum. Remember, it is blocking polyspermy. Bulboerythral glands are helping with lubrication of the penis. Ladic cells are the ones that are responsible for androgens. Hope you all got them right. Wishing you loads of luck. Hope you get great success in life. God bless.